Manage your channel directly from your phone. I don't think I will, Mr. Twitch app. But I want to do that. Uh, just putting the phone away and headphones on. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <clears throat> yes. Well, might as well clear away the uh, awful uh, stream will begin shortly thing here. There we go. Hi. <laughs> oh, damn it. Got something in my eye. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. get right in there. Oh, oh God. Ooh. Oh, that was a trip and a half. All right. Hi. Uh, everyone, I'm the Space Quest Bistorian before. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> wow, that, that completely threw me for some reason. Uh, hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. On behalf of me and my trusty Lieutenant Siri, are, how are you doing in the chat, sir? And Brent Assassins and uh, whoever else is watching. Who, who is watching? Uh, we've got we got four people in the his house, so uh, that's pretty good. I'm dying spite. Hi, uh, hi, how are you doing, sir? Um, it's all good. Now, good morning, or good evening, or good whatever, to all of you nice people tuning in. Today, we are playing not the Dark Side Detective. Um, with apologies to the fine folks over on uh, at uh, um, S uh, Spooky Doorway. Uh, we are going to pause the Dark Side Detective uh, playthrough that I've been doing these past uh, few weeks, a couple of weeks, um, because uh, this Friday was the release of the Life is Strange prequel Before the Storm. And uh, we've had a lot of fun, at least I think, we had a lot of fun playing Life is Strange uh, on the stream uh, with some great interaction. And, uh, you know, uh, it was it was one of the most enjoyable uh, games that uh, I've played on, on the stream. My microphone is in the way. Pardon the noise. Um, so uh, with uh, uh, Before the Storm coming out uh, this Friday, I thought, fuck it, we'll just have to pause the uh, great adventures of uh, uh, Officer McQueen, or Detective McQueen, sorry, and Officer Dooley. And they are, uh, they're just going to have to wait until we can get through uh, this uh, prequel, because uh, holy shit, life is strange. Now, um, a quick word about replayability. Now, see, I know that I'm playing a game that just came out, so there might be, you know, spoilers, because that's really what you do in a playthrough. You play through the game. However, uh, this is one of those choice-based games. For those of you who, for some reason, are not, uh, you know, uh, aware of what Life is Strange is all about, it's one of those shape-the-story-as-you-go kind of things. So we're just going to play through one you know, version of the game. So there's still an excuse for you to go out and actually pick up the game for yourself. And uh, second of all, I am, uh, I'm just gonna let the, uh, you know, like we did with the uh, Life is Strange stream, we're just gonna let the chat decide on the, you know, the big issues, the big uh, decisions that are coming up. So, uh, so this is gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I hope it'll run well. I'm just gonna click play now and see, I did test out the main menu shows up on the stream. Uh, and it is a widescreen game, and I can't, you know, force it into any, um, you know, uh, resolution or uh, aspect ratio that will fit, uh, you know, like in a, in a nice way uh, on my stream layout. So this is this is the window we're stuck with, pointing at the. There you go. Uh, that's the uh, that's the size we're we're stuck with. Sorry about that. Goddamn widescreen games. Um, also, I, I guess it's, um, you know, it, it bears mentioning that this is not Life is Strange 2. Uh, it's not even made by the same dudes who made Life is Strange. It's made by this uh, group of people called uh, Deck Nine. So uh, it's, it, it is a, an official game, uh, but it is more of a prequel, more of a, um, um, let's see, what, what, uh, like, a, like an appetizer for Life is Strange 2. The, the fellas over at Don't Nod are working on Life is Strange 2. Uh, presumably trying to work out how the hell to carry on with the story, uh, since uh, Life is Strange ended on quite the definitive notes. But um, anyway, so uh, so let's uh, well, see. The um, main menu is working, so let's just uh, get in and see. Uh, actually, actually, we might want to check the settings, make sure that we've got subtitles on. Yes, subtitle size normal. 
semi-opaque overlay. Now that's one of those, uh, like a, a little uh, transparent black box appears under the subtitles. Don't think we'll need that one. Um, also, this is probably some licensed acoustic indie music, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be bang in trouble. Is there, a, is there like a, um, a stream-friendly setting? That'd be great. Vibration? I hope it doesn't vibrate my mouse. Uh, key bindings, I think we're pretty good on that one. This game is made in... Actually, that, that's kind of strange. It was made in Unity, and the uh, uh, the original Life is Strange was made in Unreal uh, Engine, so... Uh, also, my nose is... Uh, uh, that's disgusting. Anyway, I'm kind of, kind of intrigued, because I put all the details up on their highest setting, so I'm kind of intrigued with uh, how this is gonna go. Uh, I've had some bad luck with Unity games over the, um, over my so-called career. I'm just gonna check the, uh, <laughs> the chat here, see? Um, Brent Assassin has already, already played, uh, before the storm, not behind the storm, I was about to say. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the... Yeah, alright, cool. Hi, everyone in the chat. Chrono Travis is here, too. Uh, the, the whole gang is here. So, cool. Very cool. Let's get into episode one. And yeah, it's an episodic game, so uh, um, I think only episode one is out. I did get that deluxe season pass thing, so I'm going to get all the episodes. I'm also going to get one of those... Uh, apparently, you can change outfits in the game. So, uh, so you... Um, you know, you can dress up Chloe. Chloe's the protagonist, by the way. Chloe from the first game. Uh, you can dress her up in sort of weird ways. And if you uh, buy this deluxe thing, you can have her dress up like she looked in the first Life is Strange game. I don't know why I would do that. But anyway, here we go. Game seems to be running pretty good. I'm very relieved to say that. 1337! That's very leet. This is the Leet Train bearing down on Chloe. I'm guessing that's Chloe. What, is he playing chicken with a train? You're not smart, lady. Yeah, honestly. Um, yeah, this could be a problem. Wow. You know the centrifugal force you know, when a train zooms by you? You're not just gonna be standing there quietly like she was. Chloe, you are... Yeah, that's funny to you, huh? I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Yeah, Fuck Firewalk, this. man. Fuck yeah. This is going to be awesome. Would kill me if she knew I was out here. Um, what do you think she'd say about you hopping around on train tracks then? Cuz that seems real. Do you up? Yes, I know. I'm just having a look around. All right, can I run? Can I hold that? No, she just saunters slightly faster. I can make her squirm a bit by repeatedly hitting the shift key. I see the show's already on, and uh, I really... Ooh! Ah, uh, that's new. That is new. Approach the fence, hold down the mouse, mouse button, and press S. Okay, so you don't uh, have to... Uh, you know, in the in Life is Strange, you had to hold down the uh, um, mouse key and then move this little pointer around inside the choice box. Now I just use the, uh, um, the keys. Yeah, well, you did absolutely fantastic, Chloe. That was some spectacular Holy jumping. Shit. Holy shit, indeed. Oh, this looks like a safe place for kids. I can't imagine what would, what this could ever go wrong. Awesome. Yeah, we can if get I'm beat up inside, by biker I gangs. Get through that door. And we're missing the show, too. I hate arriving late for a show. That is That, that sucks so much. Let me guess, you're not just gonna let me in, are you? I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Thank you for hinting that this is a puzzle. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. She's totally legit. She's not hella legit. That comes later. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Yeah, piss off. God damn it. Well, we can just sneak in the back, can't we? Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? <laughs> You're just a, an excellent hint system, Chloe. If I owed Chloe. somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Chewer versus Goldie. Oh boy. I bet we can use this for some extortion. Oh, an argument. Let's have a Those look. Those guys need to get a room. 
<laughs> Two mannequins pushing each other around, completely stone faced. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. Thank you. Now, now let's do it again. I understand. I understand, really, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. What? Oh, I I trust you completely. All right, let's uh, poke around this the van then. Just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see. Getting me. distracted, Chloe. We're we're here to catch a show. I have to say the environment is pretty damn nice. Uh, you wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell if this was uh, Unreal or Unity. Someone, someone clearly put some effort into this. Can I just graffiti anything? Oh, she, oh, she just has a sharpie. What to draw, eh? What should we draw? Not a meth lab or free candy? Come on, chat. Let's do this thing. I mean, not that we're distracted. We're, we, I mean, the show can go fuck itself. At this point, we just need to really up our decorating skills here. Seriar says A. Mass Connect says A. Not a meth lab. I do like the not uh, a meth lab, but the uh, free candy one is more subversive. It's more that... Hi, uh, this this van contains a pedophile kind of thing. All right, yeah, free ca uh, food was on the free candy one. Um, now you know what uh, majority rules. I am gonna go with. Boy, that takes a long ass time to write, Definitely. doesn't it? Absolutely not a meth lab. That's slightly better than what we were thinking. Anyway, that was great. Oh, we've got a journal and everything. Today, I vandalized a uh, a van, an RV. Ooh. Oh, we got Chloe, we got Max, we got William, we got David and Joyce. We got a lot of shit that I'm not gonna look up right now. Mom, will you be joining us for supper? No. Will you be coming home at some point? Didn't even bother responding. Daddy-O is alive and well in this, because, you know, it's a prequel. Uh, so Max hasn't even moved to Arcadia Bay yet, and... Uh, uh, Rachel is still alive, so we're probably gonna meet up with her later. Uh, fuck. Uh, oh, Frank! Frankie Poo! Let's just see what old Frankie boys come up with. Come on, it's 420. You. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, let's start. From Holy shit, there's a lot of text here. Your shit is here, hell yeah, but tapped out, sorry, you're lost. Can you hold it for me for a day? Favorite customer, are you holding? You still owe? Are you gonna get have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. <laughs> You deal drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on, it's 420. I'll meet you if you have cash. So she's uh, uh, buying from Frank, although not really. Also, Max. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, so sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me. Yo, Max, how's it going? Are you there? Oh, sorry again, I've been really busy. You'll love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Uh, and Max is really bad at answering texts, apparently. Maybe we should set up a time to call. Uh, 7 p.m. and uh, I know maybe this weekend. Sure, let me know. Queen of the crickets. What's the latest? Hey, Max. Nope. So maybe maybe she has moved back here. Wasn't it like a couple of months? Um, like when um, uh, when when Life is Strange starts, she's actually been in Arcadia Bay for like a month or something, or maybe a month and a half. Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Well, no. We could create an awesome distraction by just pouring this all over the bonfire. Ponder. I shall ponder for a moment and then check the chat here. Your mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. <laughs> What's this thing about Long this Johnson in the chat? She as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. Yeah, loving it, aren't we? Oh, something is on fire inside <laughs> as well. Home. Yeah, never mind. Uh, that's enough of that. Can I just, like, walk around? Uh, he's he's not gonna care, right? Nah. Can't go that way. Walking, kid. God damn it. Taste iron, punk. Okay. How about... What the hell is this? That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. I think the drugs are kicking in. That was a really, like... That saw looks... Agent. Really, given it all she's got. Car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Maybe we can convince him. I'm just gonna have a look around, but maybe I think we can convince him by uh, bringing up a sketchy past involving uh, some stuff that he owes. 
maybe. I think that's what the ticket stub is for. It's it's uh, to um, to let us know that there is another conversation topic open with Mr. Bouncer here. I'm guessing. <laughs> Trash talking. Yeah, that's a great idea. What do you want, kid? I've just been walking around vandalizing uh, some... Oh, shit, we can trash... We can totally trash talk him. Let me inside, now. The mill, your bike, or walk away. Hmm. Let's see. I can ask him about the mill, I can ask him about the bike, or I can just get really... I, I really want to, like, rip into him. What do you guys think? Because we're missing the show. I mean, listen to that. Th these dudes are pumping, and I'm just standing here staring at them, scratching my neck. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, D. The bike. <laughs> uh, Surya wants to just ask him quietly about the bike and everything, but uh, I'm... I am gonna... I'm gonna trash talk him. You have started a backtalk challenge. Really? have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Yeah, I thought we were going to solve a puzzle. In Backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? That's not really an insult. See the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? What, what am I supposed to do? To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Ah, something about bedtime. Thank you for highlighting that. Then pick a comeback that reflects their words back at them. Your bedtime? No bedtime. I'm gonna go with your bedtime. Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Oh, that is cute, eh? Again, listen to your opponent's word. Respond before the timer runs out. Fuck you. Uh, I don't do cute. Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? Probably not the latter. Okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Oh, kid, eh? Kid? This isn't a playground. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. Yeah, it's insult sword fighting for the 21st century, absolutely. I can't protect you in there. Yeah, I don't need your protection, man. Uh, girl like me, hey? You mean a girl who doesn't take shit from a walking pair of biceps like you? That kind of girl? Yeah, that kind of girl. Boss will kill me if I let you in. He's not even trash talking me. I'm just being an absolute dick. Uh, bosses suck. Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You. You're not accepting no for an answer. No. Are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Oh yes. sure, absolutely. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, this is totally realistic. You're all right, kid. Go on in. You're all right, kid. You just trash talk the fuck... That dude would... This would never happen in real life. <laughs> so I see the writing has upped its game. Okay. All right, let's go party. Actually, let's uh, stay hydrated for a moment while this thing is loading. God, I hope it is loading. This is intense. You're barely in the door. Hey, Delia, come. Delia, heal. That's a scary deer. The deer, <laughs> deer is glowing eyes. Scream, don't touch my soul with dirty hands. Okay, cool. At least uh, the acoustic indie music is gone. That's a welcome change of events. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Oh yeah, let's thrash. Well, let's have a look around first. First of all, can you Sober do up, anything? You're missing the show. It's not even gonna help her. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna tag the shit out of this. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? I don't know. This is the first I've heard of him. Okay, we can buy some merch. Yeah, fuck. Let's have some merch. Twenty bucks, baby. Well, we're gonna pay for it, obviously. That's robbery. And don't call me baby. Are we just gonna pick a fight with everyone? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt. I'm going to need to get creative. Or you could just pay him. It's kind of what the band is, like, living off. Dickhead. 
Um, uh, hey, Frank. Oh God, I've missed Frank you. Bowers? What is he doing here? He's smoking a floating cigarette, apparently. Yo, floating joint. Frank. I'm stoned. I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. I just gave it my best shot. Here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. <laughs> How'd you even hear about this little The uh, animation is a little strange. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Yeah, the new uh, voice actress is pretty good. Um, and honestly, I don't mind that it's not the same voice actress as uh, in the original Life is Strange. Because uh, this is a different character. She's slightly younger. And, uh, I mean, you can't really help the dialogue. <laughs> even though it's not even Dontnod who wrote this. Apparently they just took a... Ah, oh, Jesus. Um... They just took a page out of the Don't Not writing book, which is 40-something-year-olds uh, 40 year, 40 writing dialogue for teenagers, even though they've never met a teenager in their life. So, how about some weed? Okay, so, you holding? Yeah, get some weed, hell yeah. Definitely use something to take the edge Cause off. nothing says punk rock like getting stoned. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Never mind, walking away. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. You really need to get high for this? Never mind. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. But this is really good shit. How about we just attend the fucking concert? How about that, hey? Right? Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. So, uh, just attending a show is... <laughs> Is, is very dicey. Oh, actually, I think you're supposed to... Syringes, holy shit. No, thanks. I tried to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Uh, let's just go attend the show, then. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Saw blade. Push through. Here we go. <laughs> Your moshing is terrible. Yes. Hey, Apologize. You okay? Or Come not. On. Just relax. You bumped into me, remember? Oh boy. Um uh, I'm gonna blow him off. What do you think? Cause, you know, he's not gonna leave us alone. Although, you know, the nice person in me is, is saying apologize, but uh no, that's just gonna egg him on in it, so yeah, let's blow him off. Not in Come the off, Yeah, there you go. No, but I do know your shaver needs some calibration. Give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. Absolutely. All right, mosh pit is a no go. Fine. New dialogue. View of the action from up above. Yes, but it's very, very rickety. Let me guess, it's gonna absolutely crash under me. Snap, crackle, pop. No? Are we good? <laughs> it's a legal high. Fuck yes! Finally made it! I can't believe it! That's some weird drumming. Yep, this is probably where, um... YouTube copyright's gonna come in and fuck me in the ass. So, no high for us. I'm just gonna enjoy this for a bit. See how much, you know, how long it takes for the uh, Twitch stream to start muting itself. You wanted to see these guys, get off the fucking floor and see them! I mean, this this way you can just stay at home and crank the stereo. Well, she tired herself out pretty damn fast, didn't she? Get the fuck off the floor, please. You spilled my beer. Sorry, can't hear you. 
should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. That's okay, I don't like you either. Insult, apologize, walk away. You know what? He's just gonna keep fucking with us. I'm just gonna walk away. Isn't that what you do? In confrontational situations like this? I mean, first of all, he's got a buddy. So I don't think we'd, uh... I don't think we'd, we'd stand up. I mean, one dude we can take, and one very friendly bouncer we can just sort of take pot shots at, but these two drunk assholes, no. I am gonna... Why does Fook want me dead? Why does Fook want me dead? God damn it. The bouncer's on your side. Is he technically? He said he couldn't protect me in here. Um, oh, I'm waiting for one more, um, uh, like, uh, vote on this one, because I don't feel the insult part of this. I mean, if this was real life, I wouldn't insult this dude. Brenta said, fuck, Emoji Assassin wants me to insult him as well. All right, that's technically two, so I'm outnumbered. All right. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am? with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's into us. She's into every us. Word. Every word. Oh, Maybe you ought to stage dive at this point. Good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. Why are you backing away then? You? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. Hey. I, I have bigger hair than her. Choose carefully, this action will have consequences. Alright, since we already insulted him, and he's distracted right now, let's just push him, kick him in the nads, yeah. Is that Rachel? I think that might be Rachel, actually. Yeah, anyway, let's, uh, let's attack him. Attack, attack. Everyone seems to be in agreement on this one. You hit him in the, uh, not exactly the groinal area, more like the, uh, hip area, but... Still, that's Rachel? pretty cool. Hi, Rach. Come on. Let's stage dive, or not. Hurry up. Well, that was a great show, eh? Hi, Frank. <laughs> Just gonna sort of swarm near you. One of the surprises of the original Life is Strange is Frank actually turns out to be quite the decent chap. Frank's okay, really. Uh, and he, he really is broken up when Rachel, spoiler, kicks the bucket. Well, that's pretty much what the first Life is Strange is about, but um, so yeah. Uh, it had, you know, I'm, I saw that there was like, new dialogue has opened and all this shit, so I think we uh, pretty much sailed through that bit without exploring everything there was to explore, but um, then again, I'm I'm coming in cold on this one, so uh Boy the loading times are really crazy, aren't they? There's a lot of time to fill out here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. I'm enjoying this so far, even though it's not really I mean it's got some interesting new mechanics. The uh the insult generator, simulator, whatever thing. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Uh sadly there's a timer on it though, and I am not big on things with timers in it. So, sadly, I can't really involve you as much in those because of the Twitch lag and shit. <laughs> yeah, well, if it's writing... Yeah, it's like an old Commodore 64 game or an old, old Sinclair game. It's just... It's actually saving it to the tape deck that's right outside view here, see? Um, worrying along menacingly. Either that or it crashed, because isn't that icon supposed to, uh, like, animate, rotate when it's doing something? I don't know. I'll just uh, sit here and chat away then. <laughs> this is kind of worrying, actually. Um, I did see uh, a post on the uh, on the Steam 
uh, community, uh, or actually um, the game news community, the, the thing, the news part of the uh, Steam page, um, that said that some people did have uh, some trouble getting this game to run. Uh, there were some intermittent crashes, and I am... I'm just, I'm gonna give it a moment more, but I think we might be experiencing one of those intermittent crashes that people have been complaining about. I guess this is what happens when you completely switch, you know, shift engines and um, uh, get another development studio to, uh, you know, basically they must have you know, rebuilt the game engine from scratch. So there's bound to be a couple of issues here, but yeah, I think this one is broken. Yeah. There you go. Now the uh, you can't see that on the stream here, but um, Windows has just decided that uh, before the storm is not responding, would you like to close the program? If you close the program, you might lose information. Well, there's not really anything else. Windows is checking for a solution to the problem. Windows, eat my dick. So the game crashed. So let's just uh, hit play once again and uh, see if it'll let us pass this time. Hopefully that uh, save icon uh, saved our progress so that when we restart the chapter it's going to start us off in you know where we left off hoping <laughs> please do not turn off the game while this symbol is displayed but what happens if the game turns itself off while that symbol is displayed well then you're absolutely fucked Yes, yes, unskippable logos. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. I love watching your logos. Please let me watch some more logos before I can get back into the game you killed for me. Continue. Also, I don't see why there's a purchase deluxe version. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was that was terribly nice of it. And some more licensed music to get me in trouble. Cool. So, cheers, everyone. To a restart from the start. Hell no. Apparently, it did make the save, yes. In this room, we are intimately familiar with, because this is Chloe's room. Uh, what slightly confuses me is that we seem to have texts from Daddio, like a real dad, but uh, I don't know how far back in time this is because uh, her Chloe's dad would be dead right now, right? Because if Max is, I mean, um, her dad died when she and Max were, well, Max was still living in Arcadia Bay and they were friends since she was about nine or something. So I would imagine that maybe those texts are really old. Maybe it wasn't her dad. I don't know. Uh, all I know is no one's probably ever going to hear me say these things because this licensed music will have uh, muted the stream and uh, YouTube will get me in all sorts of trouble. God, I hate it when games do that. Could you please stop using... Or if you're going to use licensed music in games, please get the fuck out of bed. If you're going to use licensed music, please at least make some sort of stream-friendly option in the game. I've seen some games do that and it is very, very nice of them. And to be honest, this music isn't all that good. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. But I got up anyway for some reason. Oh, let's look at her journal. Come the on. Rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Max, that's right. I called you a loser. The loser. Want to know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. It was maybe the, the like the greatest night of my life because I hiked to this like old mill using like the train tracks and then I totally like a, a verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he like let me inside and shit and then I saw Firewalk and they were like the shit but I only saw them for like two minutes because then uh, some person uh, like broke a beer bottle and then I left and uh, haha fuck Seattle plus I have a sweet ass black eye for a souvenir uh, no 
booty dancing, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked because I'm totally awesome. Firewalk and Chloe is so much better than you, Max. <laughs> um, well, fuck you. Jesus, there's a lot of shit to read. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just gonna instruct everyone who wants to, if you're watching this uh, after the fact, um, just freeze frame the shit, because I'm not going to read all of that. Alright. Can I get off the bed, please? Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? The drawings have actually gotten better since uh, Life is Strange. I, th I thought the uh, the original kind of splotchy uh, uh, graphics in Life is Strange were cool, but this is even better. So, And there's Max. God, we miss her and those... Half baked stone dyes. I am awake. Last night, seeing Firewalk live. Those skeevy assholes. I'm still kind of sleepy. Was that really Rachel Amber? I think it was. The most popular girl in school, like eh? Cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. <laughs> yes, I saw Mr. Sharky. Uh, we'll get back to Mr. Sharky. That is one hell of a screensaver. Class photo. Periodic table. Um, all right, let's At use the computer. Miss Arcadia, first. you're the only source of info I trust in this town. Terrible news, my fellow Oregonians. Anything interesting here? Steve's famous crab is shutting its doors. Okay, gents, it's it's a private party. More like you're better off staying. Okay, so this is just the invitation we got last night. Um, Wait. What? Who? To Victoria what? Chase commented on a photo you're tagged in. Ooh boy, not face. D9. Uh, can I click on it, please? Hello. I have feelings about. Oh, this. is this one? Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Rachel and Trevor, what? What? What are we hacked into here? Firewalk, jealous. You look hot. Who's the arm candy? Deborah something. Deborah Borgen, I think. Actually, that's, you know, <laughs> that's me. So fun. Kisses. Glam. Good. Who's Deborah Borgen with Rachel in the picture? Oh, right. You're so gorgeous. I hate you. Who's Arm? Dude, that's Chloe Price. Wasn't Rachel invited to your sleepover last night? I was wondering where she was. Oh, no. Didn't mean like that. Well, okay. Yeah, this is a really intelligent conversation. Thanks, Alyssa. Um, I, suppo I suppose we're not going to do anything about it. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Yeah, I used to have such potential. And then I squandered it all. Mr. Sharky! Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Ooh. Alright, let's get in the underpants drawer. Ah, very nice. Oh shit, yeah, here we go. This is what uh, the deluxe edition is. You can actually pick the outfits that she's going to wear. I'm going to go with... Well, none of this shit, because this is way too emo and tacky. I'm going to go for the straight fucking... Bro Classic Chloe. Okay, fine. Apparently this is... Uh, this is the closest thing we're going to get to something vaguely resembling... Anything decent. And it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm into this. <laughs> and I can change, but no. So. So this suddenly turned into Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, or 9. Really or 10. Or whatever. That that game where... 10. 10-2. Ten right? That's the one where you uh, run around and uh, basically perform dance routines to get dresses and shit. I don't know. I don't play a lot of Final Fantasy. Anyway, let's just have a look through all her drawers. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Ah, har, har. So basically, she just sat there and hummed into her laptop microphone. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I wish you would stop talking about the fucking show last night. You were barely even there. All right, I'm gonna leave. Let's see what mommy wants. Maybe she actually has made Where's eggs and bacon. Oh, God damn it. Not here. 
How drunk was I last night? Not at all. You didn't drink a single thing. Not that I saw. Try calling my phone with moms. Oh boy. Should I have found the phone before I left? Oh, it's saving. It's that means it's gonna crash. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Cool, I will do that. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? She looks up. This, this looks like American Gothic Part Two, like the you know the pitchfork uh, painting. She looks dead. I mean, <laughs> I said the graphics had improved uh, intermittently. Okay, well, fucking call the phone already. And don't take forever. Yeah, I'm gonna look in mom's drawer, sure. Emoji assassin. Okay, okay. Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Uh, sounds like it's in the bathroom, actually. Yeah, here it is. It's in the fucking toilet? Oh, it's in the waste bin next to the toilet. Oh. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. 97. And they're all from the police, wondering what the hell an underage teenager was doing at the firewalk show last night, which was totally awesome. Ooh, Elliot. What? Who? Okay, so who the fuck is Elliot then? Spanish test. No, it's some dude from school. See, I thought, and I'm sorry for getting this all confused, I thought that was... Her dad. And I was like, is she hanging on to old texts or something from her dad? But no. Uh, not unless she's conversing, not unless her dad's like taking an AMU course or something. Uh, like if I passed, uh, no, the thing I did, okay, what are you up to now? Dude, that's the third time I already know, if, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Mom has a new, will you be home by curfew? There will be consequences. Cool. I like consequences. What about the consequences? Okay. We, we... I think I saw mom's purse in her room. Good, good. Uh, can we, like, have some aspirin or something? Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. Maybe you should stop talking like this. It's really weird. All right, cool. Uh, let's go through mom's drawers like Emoji Assassin suggested. That's an excellent idea. What? Hello? Is that? Well, there's one phone here and there's a... Oh, it's a ring. Mom's oh, old engagement it, it ring. looked like a phone. Supposed grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, mom's selling her engagement ring? Oh boy. Oh boy. That is not good. Now, okay, new dialogue option. Have a look in the drawer. Da, 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 da. I know what you're all thinking we're gonna find, but nope. Gonna hit us in the fields instead. Place on dresser, hell yeah. <laughs> Foops thinks uh, the new dude on the phone, whose name I've already forgotten, is Warren 2.0. I really hope we ran it, run into Warren at some point. I mean, he is technically, he is in, in Arcadia Bay at this at this time. And we're part of the Illuminati now. Cool. I wonder how this relates to the dig. We'll find out in a hurry. Alright. Uh, let's go through some more drawers and shit. We're not in any hurry. Cool. Yeah, Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for... Well, at least there wasn't like a fucking butt plug in there or something. Because that would have really raised more questions than we need answering. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with that, but why are we going through her fucking drawings anyway? Draw drawers, not draw rings. Let's read her book. Shit, we've got all day. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Oh, fuck me. It's one of those uh, inspirational, self-helpy kind of shit books. Don't Love after... Yourself. A single La spark can start loss. a fire that burns the entire prairie better. Can I, can I skip this? <laughs> Jesus. That was, that was really awful. Okay, let's uh, take this book with us and set it on fire somewhere. I am done poking around this place. Chloe! 
Yeah, yeah, mom, I'm coming. Wait. Oh, mom wanted me to bring her purse. Actually remembered. I thought we could just like screw it. All right, we'll get the fucking purse. Why is there like a like a ping pong paddle in there? As again. Dawdling. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Oh, the, the consequences. We're gonna get, stop getting in the fucking way of the scenery. Thank Coming, you. Mom. She announced at the top of the stairs. Now oh, the bird signals the absolute catastrophic failure of this game, part two. <laughs> Fook's just screaming, PURSE! purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Will there be eggs and bakey? Dining table, here I come. New objective! Dining table. Attend dining table. Place hand on skillet. Slow cooker. Put head in slow cooker. Cereal box. Submerge face in cereal box. Swear jar. Fuck you, swear jar. I should be writing interactions for these kind of games. I am awesome at this. All right. Uh, newspaper. What is interesting in the world wow. today? Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Oh, you have no idea at this point. <laughs> Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? Because, uh, spoiler, um, Sean Prescott... Or actually, Nathan Prescott is a rapey dick. Uh, Sean Prescott is just a dick. As far as I know, he's this never raped anyone. Principal Ray Wells. I'm Let drunk at this point. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Kiss mom good morning already. What kind of monster are you? I'm a punk rock monster, man. All right, fine. Good morning, mommy dearest. Sp right, there's no option to kiss her or kick her or anything. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Thank you, object. Stop smiling. Stop smi What? Are you stoned? Well, clearly not, because we didn't. Uh... Place purse on table in this clearly marked area. You get over here already. I was she just there. Mom wants before she strokes out. Thank you. New objective. This is very handholdy. Hey, you wanted to talk? Love you, Mom. Chloe, what happened? Parentheses not. It's no big deal. I walked into a door. And the door then pushed me. A lot of doors lately. Yeah, I, I kind of like doors. Message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. I couldn't. I was really, really text. high. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. And I need you to stop using metal on these non-stick pens, because you're a really fucking that pan up. Sorry, I'll do better, or I was sleeping. I was sleeping when the door accidentally fell on me, and, uh... Oh, so I have, everyone wants me to apologize now? You guys are so great. <laughs> Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Yeah. Thank you. This is not fuck up our relationship with mom any more that? than will already automatically happen. You, David, always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Because your pleasant conversations are always about how fucking stupid I am. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring up the engagement ring. Are you selling your engagement ring? How's that for pleasant well, conversation? Jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Except there was a pawn shop, right? Nice dodge. Yeah. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. But how am I supposed oh, to get no, your purse? Get your damn purse then. And there we go. So, let's talk about uh, David, whom we absolutely love, or school, which we also absolutely love. So, we can't really be nice about anything, but I'm gonna bring up school. We'll, we can probably bring up all of it. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yes, but then I learned the world is a terrible, terrible place. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Oh, it's not, that's not a joke. I'm high right now. You do realize I hate your Have a discussion about the condoms in the drawer. Chloe. 
You don't hate him. No, I despise and loathe him. I know there's a difference. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah. Actually, yeah. I'll just grab something later. Best discussion ever. Yep. Oh, you'll enjoy Busy Cola, you... the other day we absolutely four rocked this. Two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you going to eat? Oh, that's really hilarious. I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. Yeah, absolutely. I know what also, your fingers kind of went into your clothing, but... And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that... Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think... The I'm president? Lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled. Uh, thanks, I guess. Love you, Mom. The microwave says you love you. ...and your disregard for my rules. I see you slipping. I'm worried. You should see what else yeah. slipped last night. The whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Yes. Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Uh, we are going to get kicked out of Blackwell, incidentally, so... Uh... Maybe I just need to be left alone, or maybe David could help. Because he's not a weirdo at all. I, I'm... A, right? A? Anyone? A? Just gonna have a sip of water here. Yeah, why can't we ask about the condoms in the drawer? That, that really sounds like a conversation we should be having. Who is that saying A? Of, 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 a, please. Brent is saying A. Yes, Brent. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks Maybe I'm 16 interested. and need to be left alone. How about a compromise? David mind his own business. I and think it's not help. David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Maybe he can't. Dad was a good man. David's an asshole. Both are actually true, so I don't think it makes any fucking difference what we pick here. But let's just go full Monty on the whole. David is an asshole. Because, well, well we know that he's not really... Well, kind of, but not really in uh, Life is Strange. At least he kind of owns up to being an asshole by the end of it. He's just an old-fashioned dickhead. Um, yeah, D. Stereo says D, I say D. That's that's Your technically a majority. An yes, I think we've covered this already, but you me. really can't say that enough Maybe times. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. Maybe you should ask him to stop rubbing me. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. Did she just threaten to kill him? Not enough to share his experience. I expect you to listen. Like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. Yeah, because of the rubbing. When That's really, really you. creepy, by the way. Today. Very funny. Ooh, yeah. He's a security officer at Blackwell, by the way. I will be respectful. In case we all forgot that. Thank you. Are you serious? This is such what bullshit. Such what? <sighs> swear jar, swear jar. Trying, I guess. Go for the swear jar. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? <sighs> well, there really is no choice, actually. Uh, we should say what we feel. But I'm not here to um, uh, influence the chat in any, any way whatsoever. Uh, uh, I just realized my uh, my face cam is, is mirrored, so I was nodding towards the wrong option. It's this one. That one. The one over there. Let's not keep it pent up, and everyone goes with... Syria goes with D. Let's all go... Let's just, let's just pretend the rest of the chat is also in on this D. You know, this democratic uh, vote that I've got going here. You know, this is full-on democracy, majority rules, and, um, and uh, I am, of course, not influencing this in the slightest way but here we go you want me to pretend i'm okay with david that everything's okay i'm not he's a chauvinistic piece of shit frankly Holy and swear jar father could hear you well he can't because he's dead no you're right i'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great it's a big bed <sighs> there's room enough for all three of you Ooh. that's enough all I'm asking for is a little respect. Why is that too much? Well, it... I love you, Chloe. Wow, she has the patience of a saint. I'll, I'll give her that. Father. 
I did the best I could. Well, that was really shitty, but anyway. I don't know where I lost. If that's the best you can do, you, <laughs> you didn't lose but, me. Oh shit, that right. turned. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. I'm gonna stick my head in the slow cooker. Come on. We joked about yes, it before, David but... David likes pot roast. It looks delish. It's all about what David wants. Yeah, and certainly not what Chloe wants. Swear jar! Fuck, 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 fuck. swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Can I go through the purse? Almost wish I could slip Mom cash. If I had any cash to slip. Ah, the uh, the snow globe that. Wait a minute, that's not the same snow globe because you know at the end when Life is Strange get all gets all trippy in the last episode, you get stuck in the uh, snow globe. This is not the same snow globe. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! That's some punk rock snow globe shaking going on right there. Little dudes like. What the hell just happened? Also, that is a cheap ass snow globe. Look how few flakes there were left in there. Jesus. I am disappointed. Wilted plant. Can I do something? Oh, what the hell is this? From when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Or also, the poorness. It's because we can't afford nice things. It's we can afford water, right? These plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so. Nobody's fault, really. We're already supporting one. Thanks. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, let's see what the chat has to say. Uh, she has to deal with Chloe. She probably has more patience than a Saint Capap. I have no idea what that is, Busy Cola, but uh, I'm, I'm just going to go, yeah, absolutely. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Well, maybe it's, uh... Is mom having trouble with payments again? Ooh. My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Well, your case is so wonderful to get on. I'm sure he enjoys it. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Uh, so he's not um, security officer at Blackwell yet. This means a new conversation topic has opened. I wonder if we can... Rub it in mom's face for no good goddamn reason. I can't take any more arguing today. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Here they are. Yes, can we pick them up now? Thank you. <laughs> Holding them at arm's length because they're apparently contagious. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. This will defend. <laughs> That's, is that a speech bubble or is it just spittle coming out of the uh, eagle's mouth? No anyway. point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I better get going. And going we shall. Hey, is that Max? Aren't you glad yes. you left for Seattle, Max? Yeah, we hate you. <sighs> also, she's stoned. She's absolutely off her case stoned. She has a lot of teeth. Anyway, let's get this. This is not where we're going, hey? Discolored square. Is this the... This must have been a daddy picture. Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. <laughs> Kebab was a thousand percent that. failed attempt to spell. Okay, I am cool with that. Busy cola. I am also off. Oh, Steph, eh? Is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hi. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Oh, what the fucking plot in this is riveting. First, we have a discussion with mom about how well we're doing at school, and now a DVD? Be still my heart. I'm not sarcastic at all. Why, why do you ask? Fine, we'll fucking leave. Maybe the plot will kick in. <laughs> the DVD of Doom. Bertness. What a piece of crap. Which one? The car or the oh, dude? Two. Yeah, the, oh, thank you. She made the joke for me. I was just thinking that would have been really, really lazy if they hadn't, at least, gone for that one. Always take forever to get ready. We're hoping you men will leave without us. That'd be great. I see a bicycle. We could just fucking ride. It's a nice day. Excuse me. No, mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron, repeatedly. <laughs> that was actually a good line. Also, 
Yeah, Ooh, she's not a fucking a dog. Black you don't guy? just go. No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh. Uh, that the same voice sweet. actors in no, Life is Strange? Rage. I got into my share of scraps. He sounds less gruff than he it's did in Life is Strange. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again Thank what I owe you. My dirt bag. This is not really your place to be parenting, but electrode like insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Fits nicely up your yes. ass. It ignites. Do you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. Oh, uh, ravens are the spirit animals of this game. Actually, what is this? Quality time? Yeah, this is quality time. Um, Better just get the socket there was the whole symbolism with the uh, deer in Life is Strange being uh, Rachel's spirit animal and the um, uh, butterfly being... What's David doing? Leaving stuff in our garage anyway. Was the butterfly Max's spirit animal or was it Chloe's? I forget now, actually. Oh well. Um, because I... Now the butterfly is Max's spirit animal, right? Fuck it. We'll never find out. Box of dad stuff, lawnmower, holy shit. I mean, they really went all out with uh, the amount of things yeah, you can look at here. Do they even make film for these anymore? Yes. Yes, they do. Damn. The stereo used to be in dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. And she actually does. That does look like the stereo that was in her room. Fire extinguisher. We can beat him over the head with it. Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Ouch! Jay, he says, relax. I uh, I know we're in a we're in a pissy mood and everything, but holy Christ, I was actually pretty pretty inventive. I used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. <laughs> he used to do amateur surgeries in the garage, apparently. Oh, the neighbor sprung a leak. Fine, wheel him in. I've got this. Um, I'm supposed to get David. Yes, I know I'm supposed to get the fucking wrench. Thank you. I'm just having a bit of fun. Yes, these are spark plugs. Thank you, game. 50 50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60 40. Maybe 90 10. Maybe you'll just beat him over the head regardless. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. But then I wouldn't have time to look at all the fancy shit in the garage. I feel like he's berating me all of a sudden. He can berate Chloe all he wants, but no, don't get... That's the worst incidental barrier ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, busy. And the, um, in the original game, the, the deer was the one that was guiding Max around, and the most common interpretation is that the deer was actually, uh, Rachel's spirit, you know, the dead girl, Rachel's, uh, spirit animal. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Is this going to go on for much longer? Because I'll, I'll be frank, I'm starting to get a bit bored with this. I mean, not the... I mean, uh, Life is Strange took some time to get running as well, but it didn't take this long. Except fist bump, leave him hang... Definitely leaving him hanging. Right? You, you can't... We're, we're gonna leave him hanging, surely. Right? Again, uh, totally democratic. Uh, I'm not a dictator. But... Hey! Lieutenant! You're excused. <laughs> really? Except fist bump? You're just trying to get me in trouble, aren't you? All right, fine, fine. I, I can tell there's some insurrection going on in the chat. I accept it, because we make our own damn fun around here, so we are going to go with A. Fine, whatever. That was the weakest fist bump in the history of bumping fists. Cool with that. All right, cool. Well, you guys are in charge. <laughs> hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. And? We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's so weak and pathetic, this toolbox.
And now we're off to school, where interesting things are happening. Ready to... Yeah, he's moving in his tool. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Of course he did. We don't have to like each other. We kind of do, actually. Me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So Jesus. I want to be real the whole stepdad thing is not your strong suit. Do oh, oh, we can shut this down. Finally, some excitement. Respect Fuck yeah. Him. I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. Right, let's get... What's clear Fuck. is fuck you. Thank you. Which you are way out of line, young lady. Fuck you, again. Which? Uh... Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Fuck you. Foxtrot. <laughs> Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Yes. Smart mouth. Right, let me dumb it down for you, then. Dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, this is really a silly mechanic, isn't it? I can crap bigger than you, got it? Don't give me a um demonstration. Yeah, I thought I smelled crap. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. French. <laughs> you your mother uh, um, trying to Leave mom out. At least she has a heart. At least she has a heart. All you have ah, I'm fucking excellent at this. When you've got one porn stash and zero game. I was in the army. You will respect, respect me. me. Respect my authority. But I didn't enlist. I don't remember enlisting. So don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you either. Oh, she even picked that one for me. I'm rubber, you're a glue, yes. And you fight like a cow. Did I fail this? No, I've, now I won this. Thank you. Ah, now we can smile and lean back, sure in the fact that we've just ruined the entire household. Oh my god, come Christmas, he's just gonna find a, you know, a spent hygiene product in a cardboard box under the Christmas tree. Already planning out our future. Oh. Oh. Didn't get enough uh, sleep, eh? Dad loved this song. That's because he's driving and we're wearing a silly t-shirt. Also, everything's kind of going all nuclear on us. Yes, yes, please get me in more trouble by singing along. Ah, oh, great. We're in a Yeah. I think you're absolutely right, sir. Here. Beautiful day. I can pick up the soccer wrench and whack him over the head with it. I can look through the purse? Alright, a lot of shit to do yes. here, and I think I might be on a this timer. Isn't right. No, this is not right. And uh, the socket wrench is not right either. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. Wait, why am I talking about spark plugs? If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. But this is not him. Right? No. Yeah. Turn it up. Don't turn it up! You're gonna get me in so much trouble. Oh well, I'm in trouble now, I guess. And we're gonna get in a frightening accident. Yeah, because that wasn't tragic enough in the first game. Yeah, actually, that's an interesting point, Foob. Is this uh, the... Um is that the shtick of this game? That we, uh, we dream travel instead of uh, rewinding time? I don't... I mean, that's not really going to change anything, is it? Like, like with, the, with the time skipping thing, you could actually influence the outcome of, you know, events and shit. Hey. With dream tr travel... Hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're going to be late. Then again, you couldn't really have a Life is Strange uh, game without something odd happening. I, w I was thinking maybe... Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Ah, fuck up. Fuck you. Drive off. I have intense dislike of you. Because I was thinking maybe maybe Hello, Rachel had out. some, uh, like, not a gift or anything, not, not like in the uh, rewinding time kind of thing, uh, but um, that Chloe was just kind of a blank slate. But if we're going to start getting into, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm, I'm uh, getting a bit ahead of myself, actually, because there's 
Uh, maybe that was just a simple flashback. Flashback sequence can't even talk right now. Future needs excellence, says Jeremiah Blackwell. A person of grand renown whom we're completely indifferent towards. Okay, there's a stage. Yes, you've made your point about the stage. There's also a flag. Very nice. It's sort of wafting in the wind. The big plastic flag. Is that Warren? Is that... No, that's... Hey, Chloe. Warren 2.0. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. I ran away from him so fast. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean... Oh, he's got his head, like, cocked, People like... can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So... How about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, let's not go to that. Totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but... I was... thinking... Yep, Warren 2.0. Absolutely Warren 2.0. You're... You've got... The, oh, that sounds awful. Or maybe... There's no definitive yes for Dreamboat Guy here in his fucking 90s shirt and and he's just sort of hovering. A? A? Eh? He's worse than Warren. Yes. I am liable to go with Foop's um, kind of soft sell suggestion here. I, I don't think... Uh, I don't. You're not making it quite clear here what your intentions are, Foob. I think uh, you might want to get a little more specific. But um, yeah, it does sound absolutely awful. And he does. He is already giving me much more of a crap time than Warren here. So um, yeah, Warren 2.0. So is anyone else going to agree with uh, Foob's cautious suggestion? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with A, because I don't really want to say maybe to him anyway. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yes. Yeah, right. Me too. Uh -huh. yes. Go. All right. Listen to See some cold play or some shit. For sure. Shot him down. Yeah. <laughs> Emoji assassin to the rescue. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Do we really? Also, press and hold down the right mouse button to view your objective. Uh, get DVD. Oh, she wrote it down in her palm. That's very nice, but... Why? I mean, this game is really, really holding your hand. Anti-drug poster. They will mess you up. Actually, that's a, that's a pretty good sell. I, I would very much like some drugs now that you've told me that. Sci-fi movie club. Well, at least not for now. If you have a movie suggestion, see Warren. <laughs> ah, Steph. Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks. Oh my word. I'm not good with abbreviations, so I'm just. Maybe she just mistyped or something. Oh, Victoria. Oh, we've missed you so much. You know what? She can wait a tad. I'm just gonna have a talk with oh, Vicky. Ha ha! Chloe. Funny. Oh right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. Ah! Uh, wow. Yeah, Ever is interesting. Yeah, and the Vortex Club. It's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. I'm really sorry. I started yeah, talking to that. you. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Rachel Amber, really? What can you tell me about her? What about Rachel Amber? We can push her. We posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Oh, we're all we're we're suddenly cool. We murdered a man. <laughs> I, I, I really want to go for that one. Can I please go for that one? <laughs> yeah, D. And Mass Connect says D2, and Emoji Assassin says yes. Yes, it was absolutely. was a normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. Awesome. You know, like you do. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. So, are we going to get into a three-way situation, or what the fuck's going on? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? 
I'm not judging or anything. Wow. I figure if she's hanging out Pushing with you, for she the must be into some effed up shit. Really yeah. salacious shit I mean, off the bat. Look at your face. Fuck you, bitch. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. And I really oh, don't know why I started talking to you at all, so... Little Miss Perfect. Little Miss Perfect, really. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. Ugh. Mmm. Ah, sabotage your homework. Or just walk away. We could just technically walk away. I mean, it's just a bunch of guys sending a D. <laughs> yeah. Uh, poop's going all the way. Let's just fuck her shit up. I mean, we could, again, I stress, we could technically just walk away because it's fucking Victoria. We know what an absolute C-U-N-T she can be. See you next Tuesday. Seria remains neutral. For once, why? Why, Seria? Throw yourself in the fray. I see Emoji Assassin voted for you. So, uh, all right, let's sabotage your I'm homework. Sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished. <laughs> Why did she say it like that? I'm help. sorry, Victoria. You? This is like Hell 9000. Help me. I didn't mean to. Of course. To. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? No, it sounds like you're just making shit up. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Chloe. No problem. Jesus, are her hips even attached to her body? That was weird. The future needs excellence. Well, it needs something, all right. <laughs> wow. She's just an uh, equal opportunity destroyer. Samantha, do I remember you from the first game? Samantha Myers. School wallflower. She could give. Yeah, she's one of money, Chloe's Max. attachments, isn't she? Yeah, maybe we can retrospectively get her thrown out, thus changing the first game. That would, that would be cool. Well, not technically cool, ruining her future and all, but uh, um, we can make her less inclined to hang out hey, with Chloe. rapists. Hey, Samantha, what are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> Stop talking to me! Last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. It was awesome. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> can, can I can I melt into this tree and get away from this conversation? Uh, it's uh funny. It's funny. Uh, the title's actually a play on the song, "Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf." Really? Is it? I never would have guessed. It is if you're the wolf. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. She's my new favorite character, yeah, this I'm one. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. Did they do they really? I think you're actually... Wait, what did people say? Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. <laughs> I bet. Samantha's awesome. I wish we could play as Samantha instead. Good old Sammy. Sammy, she just, she just pissed herself, didn't she? Yes, she did. Need my DVD from Steph. Yeah, I know. I she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Yes, picnic table. She already told us. Alright. On a scale of one to completely baked, how fucked up are you right now? Just... Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? I don't know, Wayne. Where's Garth? Uh, Rachel Amber, man. I totally hung out with her. Hey, out of the blue question... What do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out Bake a lot. before I, lunch, eh? I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Yes, me too. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. You did? Yeah, I crushed it. That's not really... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, later. All right. I guess I'll see you in class. Word. <laughs> uh, fuck this. I am suddenly very interested in moving the game forward. Except, who are you? Can I talk to you? Skip! Which is what I wish I could do with the logos in this game. 
They skip, my boy. They skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? <laughs> Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Aren't you a fucking Perhaps. hero? Yeah. Metal. No Give this man a medal. Uh. Yeah, fuck. I'm just gonna talk to him about the firewalk show. So I went to the mill last night. Cut firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait. You saw firewalk? Yeah, they're the best non-punk, non-rock band I've ever heard. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Soft indie half punk baked shit? Cool. Good music? What? Like good music? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Preach it, sister. But okay. Who am I to judge? No shit. Really? We're yeah, we're, we're bonding. It's not a big deal. <laughs> this band's name is Pissette. I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but... Hey, give me your demo. It can't be worse than the shit we were listening to last night. Would you maybe want to hear it? Yes. Our demo, I, I mean. Come on. Lay it on me. Sure thing. Yeah, okay. Great. Let me guess. It's a cassette tape. No, he's got it on his phone. He's going to play it through his phone. He's into stoner rock, apparently. Ah, damn it. Oh, so this is gonna get me in trouble again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's very nice, very nice. What did you think? Eh, really good, really good. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit Might want to change the name, though, because that's really... Right on. I mean, when you think awesome. of a band that, like Pisshead, you're thinking, like, I don't know, hardcore punk or something. You don't think, like, stoned desert rock. Anyway, we're getting in good with the security people because, you know, kind of need to. Also, I spy a picnic table. Let's get this show moving. Uh, can we jump this? Oh no no no! We'll we'll jump fences, but this yes. Quiet in the Fuck. Shut up. Shit, man. We'll we'll break and enter. We'll get in verbal fights, but now let's not jump this clothesline or anything. Hi, how's everyone doing? If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. We're not skill nerds at all. Challenge. It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> so many things going wrong here. Uh, first of all, um, try me. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Yeah, awesome. DVD? Give me my One fucking DVD. Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Did she just copy that? I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with yes. a sweet Yes! Uh, you know, we know that we because it's a very old That's movie motto. and everyone knew that. Right on. But we just hey, had to get that in do there. You know, Rachel's a gamer. Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Oh, well, she just kind of showed up. What's it to you, man? <laughs> Yeah, not even Final Cut, exactly. The 1992 director's cut of Blade Runner is not really, you know, it's good, but it's not the best. I mean, the Final Cut is pretty awesome. The work print edition, uh, the work print from, uh, from 1981 is, is absolutely awesome. Hi, game, I know more about Blade Runner than you do, apparently. Um, what's it to you, or we're not friends? I, I really want to, um... I, I really want to leave the option open of being friends with Rachel Amber, so I, I'm leaning towards A here. And so is Foop. Great. Well, that's, that's technically a majority, so uh, let's go with A. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, <laughs> you should join her game. You can yeah. beat this I don't have pervy dick out right of the game, right? Thanks yeah, so. cool. 
We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take like twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. What have you got to do before class. Uh, shit. I think so. Um, yeah. Emoji Assassin wants us to play some D and D. So, I'm no good with D and D, but maybe you guys can help me. So, sure. The fuck. It's better than attending class. Game on, nerds. I didn't know you could just join a game in the last twenty Here's minutes. A character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. Am I not supposed to roll that myself? Why is that funny? Are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. Yeah, skinny and kind of weird like you? Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. I feel really bad for saying yes to this. You are both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. <laughs> Inventive. You your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. Well, we'll give him a scar. Camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. He's the skinny, nerdy shithead. Uh, please Elemon, keep your fucking staff to yourself. Wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernum. I'm out. I don't want to play this game anymore. Jesus. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh... Calamastia? Bar I'm gonna go with Barb. Fuck you, you don't get any say in this. Barb. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on! Step. Hey, give Barb a chance, okay? Yeah, exactly. I'm playing this on my own damn terms. The two heroes. Hold on. <laughs> Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to. Elamon and Barb! Dargaron. This is pretty awesome, right? In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I'm just gonna hack off his legs and get on with it. I once made a man kebab. Well, according to my character sheet, now what? I'm 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 role playing this. Yeah. <laughs> w. What? No. No. You got you, you got no say in this. <laughs> yes, these games were definitely written by a forty-year-old man with depressing lives. Yes. A. Syria says let's go with the rules and no, I want to role play. Finally, I'm finally getting into this. I want to really piss off this weak sauce dude over to my left here as well. All right, fine. We'll go with A, Syriar. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So, Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? <laughs> you gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Alamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. Oh god, this is this is physically painful. Fight. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Yeah, I don't want to play this game either you now. Stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron. The Durgaron. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground. And surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Nah, fuck the prisoners. Let's get this Here's over with. Get, I'm, I'm, I really want to get this over go. with. Holy Christ. Leave the game. All right. <laughs> is anyone going to be really sad if I just leave the game? Um, prison camp, warlords, tent, training ground. Come on. Let's let's get you guys involved. I am, I'm tapping out of the... I'm, I'm just going to have water now. More water. Prison camp. Prison camp. Okay, that's two for prison camp. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You just want me to go the long way around, don't you? you hold a field of standing iron cages. Should free the prison. There aren't any real village, prisoners. Calling out for you to free them. We're just nerding. Only a small elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices. Hey, he looks cute. Can we adopt him? He's wearing cocky shorts. Empty cages and locks himself in. Cool. Uh -huh. Mission accomplished. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the. Unlike you, eh? Oh, okay. Hey, shitface! 
Get out of there. The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Do we have a spear? Can I like just poke at him? Flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Cool, let's do that. Oh, I can get into a fight here. Or I can tempt him with bread, or I can pick the lock. Uh, technically the Dragonkin doesn't understand my language, does it? So intimidating it, what would be the point of that? But then again, it's the uh, closest thing we've got to a uh, game in this dialogue tree. So, uh, all right, Brent and Foop says we should fight, so fight we will. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I can do, do that. that. Please, please. I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he can't I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Yes. Now, Large nostrils. Every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge. Well, this should be easy. Use... Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back. <laughs> His scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Your shorts are awesome. I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon king guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. That was almost cool, and then she just went uh, overboard with detail. He doesn't seem to like that idea. Doesn't he, really? Why? I do. I think it's all the shades of awesome. Me, tall one, but I cannot give you key. Durgeron, much taller and meaner than you. No, I'm the meanest of all. I could make you even shorter. You're short, I say. But you can always get shorter. Give me the key, or I'll chop off your legs and beat you to death with them. Uh, that sounds pretty good. Cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I didn't get to pick that? Carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into. Will this be before or after you shove your hand up his Next reptile ass? Cat refuses to give me a key I want. I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <laughs> we don't want to play this anymore. Wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Yeah, charisma. Exactly. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Thank then you. It dies of fear. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Go team. Well, so well, we could have just killed it and taken the keys anyway. Also, you had an axe. You free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Um. Well, what's next, people? Training ground or warlord's tent? Is this exciting or what? We just verbally abused a reptile, which then died. So we didn't we didn't technically have to do that, but it was fun. I will agree. A hey, training ground. Wow. <laughs> you guys really want me to take the long way around, don't you? Okay, fine, fine. Go to the training ground. That sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, what happened to his you are lips there? By a heavy set orc. Who immediately shouts and points. There are dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Did you not see okay. what I just did to Lizard Boy? So what do we do? I, can't I can. Urgle's acid blast. Do you uh, really? Wow. Well, uh, kill. Bam. You conjure. You killed a everyone. Of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Hmm, Holy cool. Shit. Nice image. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy Sit down, star please. Still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Fatal cleave, knee slam, pommel strike. Now, pommel with an O, surely that has something to do with potatoes, right? 
Did he waste the spell? Yes, he did waste the spell. Um, well, Fatal Cleave sounds fun. Who wants to go for a knee slam? Which is basically what we did to that dude last night. So maybe that's uh, that's the thing that connects all of us. Everyone wants to go for a knee slam. Why? What's so special about a knee slam? Don't you want to see a french fry strike? Like a potato spud No, okay, fine, fine. We'll do knee slam. Knee him. Right in the orc balls. Because that's what I do, Success. baby. She already wrote a new thing on her or, uh, hand thing. Children. You see that? Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. Dang. So, do we now French fry strike him? Or do we fatally do something to him? Also, why didn't the knee slam work? Would have been awesome. Stuff him with potatoes. All right. Foop's going for the potatoes. Yes. Syria goes for the potatoes as well. Good. Let's potato this dude. Pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. <laughs> Fuck is that? Um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. No, it's not. It's a French fry. Strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword. You're wielding. It has a handle too. Stop being fucking pedantic. It's all right. Try using your. You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. Get to chemistry class. He acts downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. I like her way of telling stories. Awesome at this game. Okay, Chloe's really getting into this. Well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid. It's unlikely any loot. Cheers, bro. Nice going. You'll pay for this. Or we all make... Why? He's not sitting on anything, is he? Oh, he's kind of... It's kind of like sitting on his knees kind of thing. Um, uh, Do we cut him a break? Or do we get in his face? Because we are now definitely into this. Don't hurt the nerd. D. But I don't like him. Ugh. All right, fine. Don't worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon nods. Alamon poops. The elf barbarian is most wise and forgiving. <laughs> he said reluctantly. Ah, Warlord's Tent, am I right? Or are we leaving the game here? Warlord's Tent, right? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron. Just sitting there, doing nothing. Doing a bit of... Fame! I'm gonna live forever! Oh, look at him! Look at him! He is doing a dance pose! Gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Ah, you can do bellowing better than that. People are already mine. deeds hear me nothing. Your kingdom was weak. And I am Lord of the Dance! I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. It wasn't your turn, asshole. On contact. Durgeron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire based. Yeah, you didn't need me at all. You know, Acid Blast. Which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Go, Barb. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I like the sound of brutal punch. I don't know about you. Annihilation Strike seems like, you know, so, sounds like something out of Command and Conquer. Uh, Wrathful Rush is very hard to pronounce. <laughs> a. Foop is going with A. Yeah. Brutal punch. I mean, just, you know, just skip all the, you know, uh, unnecessary, you know, multi-syllabic words. Just go straight for the brutal punch. Yeah, Syriar. Also A. Fine. I want to punch that stupid man cow in the dick. There you go. Like, right in the dick? Right in the dick. You heard right me. In the dick. <laughs> you punch a lot of dicks. Yes. Yes, so. I do. Is that why you're sitting like that? You miss. Durgron burst out laughing as you stumble past him. And so face into his dick. You in the side with a horn. Ow. That's damage. Ouch. What do you do next? Take his horn out of my side. 
Okay, we have to <laughs> we have to go with the fancy ones. Wrathful Rush? Hit him when he's like distracted by the fact that we're ogling his dick so much? Or Annihilation Strike? I don't know what this is. Um it looks like Looks like I'm beating off a tiny little horse. Anyway, D. Target was too small. <laughs> okay, let's go for the Wrathful Rush then. Yep. What's Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Can I shoulder slam him in the dick? You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. You slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. And? Well, we're really out of options, aren't we? Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, annihilation Strike. That sounds boss as fuck. Actually, it should be called boss as fuck. That's bad, right? Yep, not you're dead. For me. As you take your or your no giant, giant fucking rock, nostrils. Collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your Ooh. axe swings wildly to the side. <laughs> roll a reflex save. Uh, no. Oh, I'm gonna oh, lob oh, off his head. Your yep. axe strikes Elamon's leg. I'm doing uh, damage to everyone. Plural. Severing both feet at the ankles. Awesome. I'm into this game. Yeah, this game is awesome. <laughs> okay. Um... Can we please make fun of the nerd now? No? No? Right, well, I... I mean, maybe he's got a sense of humor about it. Right? Right? Foop says D. Come on, we just need one more vote. Vote. <laughs> vote. Sorry, R, thank you. This game is awesome. My feet? <laughs> yeah, fuck Erdogan your feet, man. Moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Well, that's kind of why you're playing. Bloody hooves. Stop. Why are they Stop. bloody? Stop. This is all my fault. Sort of. <laughs> what should I do? This is the first thing she's really gotten into. Uh, dance? Jump in front of Elmon or encourage Elmon? Well, you can't really encourage... The dude is lying in a puddle of his own blood. His feet are halfway across the room. Uh, maybe we should jump in front of him. I don't know. What do you think? Or dance? <laughs> I kind of like that idea, actually, but we're just really... Save the nerd. A. Huh? All right. So, we need a tiebreaker here. Yeah? <laughs> the dancing part is... is... <laughs> what? I kind of fucking... Actually, W. Really? Oh, so now... Oh, so now everyone wants to go dancing. All right. And Mass Connect thinks we should encourage him, but, uh... Yeah, fuck, let's go with dance. I, uh... I don't know. Shit. I dance to distract him. You... Bust a move. Dance? Yes. To distract him. I'm doomed. Yes, you are. Sixteen? What? What? Your crappy, arrhythmic dancing is weirdly mesmerizing <laughs> Durgeron. <laughs> You just because tell her cogs are turning in there. Seconds. Buying Elmon time to crawl away. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. I thought he said meat sword, but okay. Yeah, it actually worked. Shit. Oh no. We're dead. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Yeah, you should be sorry. I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into Well, yeah, he's perforating every internal organ we have, so... Uh, swing for his head, swing for his arm. You know what? I think his arm might be good, but his head would technically probably kill him. Cut off the bracer. There you go. Ah, see, that's clever. That is clever. Yeah, D. I bring my axe down onto his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I'm sacrificing myself. You're almost dead. 20. Fuck yes. 
<laughs> this is the most punk rock game of D&D ever. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap. Oh, I don't know what that is, but... You conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest. And also kill Chloe. Oh, sorry, Barb. From the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. So you're both dead. Congratulations. And Barb is dead. That's cool. I actually feel sad right now. <laughs> Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. Fuck you, buddy. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Like he's got serious drawing skills. Cool. Um oh, cool. What am I supposed to do with that? Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Ah, sure yeah. did. I'll adventure with you anytime. Okay, will you sit in a proper way? That'd be great. Thanks for the game, nerds. <laughs> and we got the DVD, and DVD. now we have to get to class. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Alright, actually, we have been playing this for quite some time. We've been playing this for almost two hours. Uh, so, I don't know if... We should uh, probably stop it here because the awesomeness of chemistry class is really just, uh, I, I can tell it's going to be mind-blowing. Also, Foop is heading out, so uh, so that really just kills the whole stream right there. Uh, can't stream without Foop. Um, From late to class, that's just uh, one You know what, we're just going to go like this and uh, we're going to we're gonna save this for next Sunday. So, um, so yes, the awesomeness of chemistry class will have to wait. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> We're gonna call him Dub from now on. Yeah, Dub. Oh, fuck, man. Um, yeah. What we're gonna do is exit the game. J'ai confirm. And uh, that's uh, that's really it. So uh, yeah, I just glanced over at the clock and realized, holy shit, I've been streaming for an hour and forty-five minutes. So before the storm, just uh, like first impressions. Uh, very nice looking game. Uh, dialogue has not improved at all. Uh, that was the most punk rock D&D game I've ever played. And uh, the graphics are on par with the game with, of the old game, which is kind of weird because that's, that game came out like, what was it, four or five years ago or something? Uh, so it, it's a prequel and nothing is happening at the moment. But um, I'm sure there will eventually something, some plot kind of thing will kick in because uh, that would be absolutely awesome uh, we do have to get to chemistry class first though so I don't know how that's going to pan out but anyway if you check back uh, next Sunday at 2pm CET as per usual then we shall find out if uh, stuff actually happens in this game could be awesome um, is there like a progress meter? Nah. no no I was just looking at the steam page and for some reason I thought that the achievement slider was a uh, like, a, you've, you've made this much progress in the game. Anyway, fuck it. Uh, let's, um... Yeah. <laughs> Your subtitle for this episode should be Punk Rock D&D. &D. I think it might actually be that. Yes. Yes. That is that is exactly what it's going to be. Uh, so, uh, thanks. Glad you guys had a good laugh. Or at least Seriar did. And um, I will uh, I'll see you next Sunday. Um, cool. <laughs> and also around the Chrono stream.